Mm. So it's not sharks we need to be scared of. It's flesh-eating bacteria. Uh, you, we oh. saw those pictures of the beach. That one, not so pleasant because <laughs> yeah. of the subject matter, but it's always nice to cool off in some water. It, it is. We've got some cooler air on the way later this week, but between the warm air we've got now and some at least a little bit of relief. Uh, we've got storms that we've been dealing with. We had that brief severe thunderstorm warning for Jefferson County. What's left of that storm is decaying pretty quickly around Sylvan Springs and uh, it is kicking off some additional showers and storms. One near Lakeview right on the uh, Jefferson Tuscaloosa County line. Another one south of Oakman there right on the southern tip of Walker County. So we're still watching these, but at this point, again, they are back to behaving themselves, which is good news. But we've still got to watch these storms back in Mississippi. You can see these severe thunderstorm warnings in place. These storms capable of producing some damaging winds. They're near Plantersville right now, and ultimately this will be making its way into Marion and Lamar counties within the next hour or so, or really the next 45 minutes at this point. So if you're watching us in Hamilton, this could be an issue here a little after six o'clock, something we'll keep an eye on. If these storms maintain intensity, they could cause some isolated damaging wind issues. So we've still got that chance for some additional storms as we head through this evening and tonight. Best chance for anything intense would be west of I-65, but even still, I tend to think we're going to get through this without any major issues as we head through this evening. As we head into tomorrow, starting out dry, I can't totally rule out an isolated shower south of I-20. This would mainly be an issue for Bibb, Chilton, Coosa, Talladega, and Clay counties. Even then, it's a really low chance. It'll be warm, but mainly dry as we head through Thursday. And that dry air helps us out as we head to Friday and the weekend. These are your morning lows Friday. Low to mid 60s, even some 50s potentially in North Alabama to start the day. And we'll stay shy of 90 as we head into Friday afternoon. Really nice weather as we head into the weekend, but it's going to stay warm and muggy this evening. We've got those storms in the forecast tomorrow. It's mainly dry, but still on the toasty side with highs close to 90 degrees. The exception may be closer to Highway 278, where we may see some more mid to upper 80s. It may feel a little bit more comfortable than the northern end of the state, a little bit faster than those of us closer to say I-20. But by the weekend, the dry air winds out and relatively comfortable weather in store for us. Yeah, we're still in the upper 80s, a few mid 80s, especially in North Alabama, but lots of sunshine and dry air. That's the big story here with the lower humidity. That's going to feel pretty comfortable. So here's your Storm Team 7 day forecast. And again, this will be one of those situations where we tell you to look down here at these morning lows. See that they're dipping down into the mid 60s, even a few low 60s potentially.